Hold on, hold on, hold on. YouTube is your boy. <laughs> Luna, bro, look, bro. Y'all look at my face right now, YouTube, bro. Look at this shit, bro. What is this? <laughs> I'm trying to get a <laughs> Oh, it's my anti made. Oh, I got a. I was like, why is this on my feet? <laughs> Boy, what? Hold on, bro. Hold on. I went over and I told him, you Hold on, hold on, bro. 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 Why is this on anti face, bro? <laughs> I went over and I told him, you motherfuckers, right? They thought I was coming over to store some stuff, which I was coming to the store. Yeah. Well, he, they asked him, he said, Yeah, my brother. He said, that's the time when I was out there, but things all power due to God and Allah and all this, they whooped his ass, man. So it's this type of stuff that I was going through in that penitentiary stuff. Yeah, there. yeah. So let me take you all the way back now. I'm in prison. So, now let's get to me. What have I done? Uh-huh. So I used to see them sisters coming and I used to cuss them. Get away me nasty. Man, you a man. You know, all that old stuff, right? So, a couple more years in. Bruh, Ruben. <laughs> bruh, it's reminiscing right now, bruh. Nah. So, they brought one in. He was, he was about 21. He wasn't out of none of these cities. He was out of like a little town. Yeah. Real nice. What's, but where are they? Okay, so let me ask you. Wait, he interviewed him? No, he interviewed the booty war. It's time to go, bro. It's time to go, bro. It's time. He, he the goat, bro. The question before you go into it, right? Are they already that way or do they get turned out? I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Let, let me educate y'all something and educate society to this. You got, you got people. Have you ever seen somebody who was just full of violence? Like, like every time you see this kid, they talking crazy. They talking about hurting people. They, they say they gangsters and tough all guy. this tough guy. And, and, and the calls don't even whatever they going through don't even require that type of response. Yeah, it's right? just like they do. They being too much. It's okay, too now here's what we found out in prison about that. Mm -hmm. That these psychologists uh, would tell you, that's a shield. It's fake. Yeah, it's a shield. See, it's a shield to have, to keep you from seeing what's behind her. Yeah. You know, when you look at me, like, let's say I grew up doing gay stuff, but keeping it secret from my parents and from my neighborhood and from other people, but I slip off and do it, and, you know, keep doing it like that and stuff, yeah. right? So now if I still getting paranoid or something, thinking people can see it, then I come out with this aggressive personality yeah. to stop them from seeing it. I want you to see me as a gangster, tough guy, this and that. I don't mm -hmm. want you to see me with the guy standing back in the background ready to spread his ass, mm -hmm. right? And so when you go to prison, see, it makes it hard to be in a long time. As they they sit there and think of ways to get booty, man. <laughs> All day, any, any type of. <laughs> think of ways to get booty. It's insane. <laughs> A game and they ain't going through all that fighting. They're going to talk you out of it, uh, uh, out of it some way. But let me get back to me in particular. So I used to cuss them out. So I thought me in uh, about 10, 15 years. They brought in that little guy. 
Four. He said, hi. Uh, your name, I said, man, get out of my face. <laughs> he said, what? I was mean to him. They said, police, that dude, is, he, he don't bother nobody, right? He don't cuss. We don't even know how he ended up down here. So he was just a regular guy? Yeah, but now he was gay. But he had a big old butt. He was big. Everybody in prison, man, they didn't even have a killing over him. Everybody wanted him, right? Everybody wanted, man, they would kill over booty and I, bro. <laughs> this, how is he keeping a straight <laughs> Bruh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me and my generation. The boondocks ruined this nigga, bro. <laughs> bro, the boondocks, they didn't ruin this nigga because, like, you know, it is what it is. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I, it's hard to explain. 90s babies, Bulldogs niggas know, bro. Listen, man. That sh hearing this nigga talk about anything is just hilarious, bro. On top of that, this nigga dead ass serious, bro. There's, there's no if and buts about it, bro. This nigga is from the bottom, bottom of his heart, bro. Serious as a Fuck it, doornail, bruh. This nigga is, bruh. This nigga, this, bruh. Fleece Johnson to go simply just off of the boondocks alone. Anything, this, this nigga can do no wrong. And he living his truth, bruh. But him explaining this shit, I could not be, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure anti know about goddamn boondocks. He's probably seen the episode. But he probably at time older than me, so he ain't he ain't grow up with the boondocks and shit. So I'm just hearing like, bro, like I'm just hearing a new episode of Boondocks in my head right now with Riley and them going crazy, bro. This would be insane if they did this as an episode. Oh my gosh, bro, I wish Boondocks would come back. Please, Aaron McGruger, come back, bro. Come back. The culture needs you now more than anything, bro. You got a plethora of shit. Bro, you can make a 50 episode season of Boondocks right now, bro. It'll be lit every episode, bro. But these man, niggas too soft for the Boondocks today, bro. I don't know how this nigga keeping this straight face. I don't know how he doing it, bro. I will be busting out like bro. I don't know, bro. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm childish, bro. I don't fucking know, bro. This, bro, this shit is so funny right now in my head. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, in the co please, in the comments, tell me if I'm, like, wrong or if I'm tripping. Or, like, you hear it, too. Like, can you, like the people that watch the Bulldogs, are y'all, like, in y'all, like, is your head fucking you up hearing this nigga talk right now? Just about all this shit. And just seeing it animated with the Boondocks and, bro, I'm talking about hell. It'll be hilarious, bro. Hilarious. Like when, when, like when I first went in, or it was like you see somebody gay and you try to dress him like a like you would a man, right? Yeah. What's up, bro? They gonna call you to the side. Hey, don't do that no more, man. That's my wife, nigga. Nigga, that's my wife. What you trying to say, bro? You said, uh, what did I do? And it's not a man. That's my wife, nigga. And so, eventually, when you see them, you're going to, if you speak to one of them, hey, ma'am, uh, uh, how you doing? Is it, it uh, 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 and when you talk to they men and stuff, yeah, man, I seen your wife down there, man. I was asking your wife where you was at, bro. So they really treat them like women? They treat them better than women. That's crazy. And they treat women. That's crazy, and they get out and they be dog women. Y'all need to be woke, bro. Like them niggas that y'all be running to the ones that treat y'all like shit, and they treat the boys like better than you. Y'all dating undercover boy? Hey man, I always see the shit just by DJing, and I would see shit when I would be DJing, especially in high school, bro. Like I was always. What's so?
it was like not not necessarily weird but i would always see stuff like why why is that you know what i'm saying or like when it's something to be happening and then like a gay dude and a and a and a street nigga get into fighting get to fight and and the party gets shut down you know what i'm saying and so like just growing up all these people and over time there's just more and more than djing in clubs or djing at these event centers and shit going to different i just i always seen this shit and so like for and then those same dude the same street niggas be having some of the baddest hoes on they dick and they treat those bitches like slut run through them all don't even give a fuck and they all got babies bomb and now they in jail treating a gay dude better than they ever would have treated you that is like fucking mind bog like that's mind boggling in my head bro like like take the jokes aside be real for like a, a minute bro y'all really think about that and y'all go to bat for them type of niggas y'all go to bat for those type of niggas why why it has been proven time and time and time and time and time and time and time again and it's only in our community that is like that that is the most craziest thing in the world bro they run to people who don't want shit to do with them it's crazy bro Jeez. And, and, and so, Christ, I'm, I'm being real with you. I'm keeping it real. Nah, I appreciate so it. Here's what people don't understand about me. Before I went to prison, I ain't never had a girl. And hey, make sure our taxes is done. He went to. He never had a girl when he went to prison. No wonder he became a booty bandit, booty warrior. You don't even know what the poo poo tastes like. He don't even. He ain't never smelt the kitty. That's great, bro. What? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> I, I ain't built for this, bro. I never had a woman before I went to prison, bro. R yeah, because, I mean, but you was only 16, 17. Nah, I was 14, bro. No, when you had hit prison, yeah, you were 16. 16. Yeah. Never. So I'm oh, raised in I a... didn't know that. That's crazy. And even still, though, like, I mean, nah, because. I mean, yeah, you lose, like, technically, like, statistics speaking, you lose your virginity. Well, these kids today, I ain't no fucking telling. My generation, you lose your virginity between the ages of 15 and 18, 14 and 18, maybe, as a dude, because girls mature faster. So, but then a lot of them was fucking older, dude. I guess I ain't going to get on that. Anyway. I don't know how to kiss a woman. I don't know nothing about all this, right? Yeah. They used to, inmates used to pick at me, you know, the older guy. Uh, you ever hear something? Yeah. Said, what it looked like? Where's the hole at? And I have been going somewhere. I couldn't answer it because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, now, I'm cussing this morning out. And he, he was like, so one day I'm in the shower. Now, Eddieville showers different from the green. In Eddieville, they got poles. Like, here's a pole. Around this pole was shower heads all the way around I it. got you. Yeah. So they got, so it'd be about 100 people in there. They got guys coming out. So they got a whole lot of poles, and then it's a whole bunch of showers. Yeah, so yeah. if you taking a shower next to me on the same pole. Uh, for people, it's like the showers is at the beaches. So. If I turn around, your face would be that close to me. I say, hey, bro, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Go take a pole over, take a shower over. Yeah. Cause if I turn around, your my butt is that far from your. Yeah. Nah, I'm not with it, bro. Take a, use that pole, nigga. Yeah. You know, and so I'm in there, and I was in there by myself. I yeah. said, I'm, I'm getting a shower first. Sometimes it's better soon they open it up, get in and get out. 
because you're going to see a lot of stuff in there, right? And so <laughs> when I heard somebody in the shower. So I turned around, and it was him. The, the one he was cussing out? I could see him from the back. It was like, <laughs> oh, damn. All right. <laughs> Shit. It was, it was like setting up. <laughs> He really reminiscent, no, boy. like setting up, and he had, you know how you put that soap, that soap go down your back, and it go, you can see the soap go up. <laughs> I like this shit. <laughs> so I looked out the window, and she made sure there wasn't nobody else coming in to take a shower. I said, fuck this shit, man. I said, oh. <laughs> he looked back at me, and I looked at him real mean, like, right? You know, real serious look, right? Yeah. So I said, shit, fuck it. I went over, I said, hey. He said, yeah. I said, can I get some of this? He said, you, you don't mess around with me. I said, man, shut the fuck up. Can I get, I said, I'm tell you what, you tell somebody, I'm, I'm gonna whoop your goddamn ass, right? <laughs> you better not tell nobody shit. <laughs> that was my first time coming, and it was in a man's ass, bro. <laughs> I closed my eyes like you, I said, fool. <laughs> I ain't, you know, I. <laughs> bro, it's gotta be the funniest video. Bro, it's gotta be the funniest video in America, bro. God damn. Oh my gosh, bro. He said he closed his eyes, bro. That's just. Closing your eyes, bro. Closing your eyes is diabolical. <laughs> this diabolical work, bro. That's what. That's that's that's, that's building this shit, bro. <laughs> That is villain as shit, bro. <laughs> bro, goddamn. Get it together, bro, goddamn. Why is that so funny? 
That's some villain shit. That is some villain shit, bro. That is diabolical, bro. That is so fucking crazy. That is, that is so crazy to say, bro. And his face, bro. His face, bro. What the fuck, bro? Oh, shit, bro. They kind of like this to have a son. Take your food, the food does gotta make this to Please, somebody animate this. Bro, somebody please animate this, bro. Somebody please animate this shit, bro. This is diabolical, bro. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. That is crazy. God, that is crazy, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. That is funny, bro. That is so bro. Oh my gosh, that is funny. That is funny, bro. I only want to complete the video, bro. I didn't even know it can felt like it. It's that shit is good. <laughs> Bro. Mm. I close my eyes like y'all said. Mm. <laughs> I ain't even, you know, I ain't even know it can felt like it. It's that shit is good. You know, I ain't never had none. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Coming in as a child, man, got, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving this motherfucker a baby or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving him a baby! Oh, bro, what? Hold on. I'm give this motherfucker a baby. Bro. Finally, anti crack, so bro. <laughs> Finally, anti crack, bro. Ain't no fucking way you can sit there and and have a talk with Fleece Johnson and not die, bro. Oh my God, bro. The full uncensored, uncensored interview. For bag chasers in the Patreon. Bro, hold on. Hear stories like this should be all that's needed to do to young men for going to prison. Y'all better stop committing those crimes for you get pregnant. He being real, but this shit is crazy. Bro, this guy is so sick. My cousin was 14, got out at 40. He's in a psych ward now. I never thought in a million years he would be intrigued by a man who tried to get another man pregnant. But here we are. Respect the honesty, bro. That's all you can do is respect that man's honesty, bro. As a former correctional officer, this is what we did. With, this is what we dealt with every day. I said many times, God is not here. Young people sag those pants. Please them. Love it. Anton, this is gross, but I see why you're doing this. Keep us keeping us crime free, bruh. That's the name of the video, bruh. Stay crime free. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, this for bro, I gotta upload this tonight, bruh. I'm gonna upload this tonight, bruh. This is insane work, bruh. Bro, this is the real shit that these young dudes need to hear <clears throat> and understand so they stay out the penitentiary. I hope he does more of these, especially the one where he was talking about his buddy, quote unquote, and the white lifter dude who got him. What? They need to know there's no friends, only allies, no family, sometimes only relatives, no guns, and no help. And the only person who can save you is you. These kids don't understand that, bro. Get the fuck off. Hollywood has made some of the most gory, disturbing movies, yet people pay money, watch seasons of it, and join every minute, but act green as hell about real prison life stories. Seems like many of y'all missed the fact that a teenage virgin was in prison with grown-ass men. The same shit goes down in youth lockups. 
boys raping other boys because they're virgins. Never kiss a girl, so why would it be a surprise? No, it ain't cool, but <coughs> it's a reality. For many young boys, man, this needs to be heard. I think I'm going to end it on that one. That one was deep. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I was fixing to. Hold on, man. I'm trying to be serious. That ass is in the goddamn pause. I laughed so hard when he said you better not tell nobody shit. Oh my god, bro. I worked at the CEO. I had a grown ass man, a grown man hanging on my ankle, on his knees, crying for his mom, begging me not to leave him so he won't get raped. <clears throat> a good place to lose your soul. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm a, I am definitely link this video in the comments, bro. Y'all hood niggas, bro. We see y'all. We see y'all, bro. Wait, what? Hold on. There's more? There's more? I don't know if I can react. How long is this video, bro? I don't know if y'all want to see me cry laughing. I don't know, man. I may, I may record some more and just have it, <laughs> have it in the files. Tell me in the comments if y'all want me to post some more of these anti, these anti, please Johnson, uh, video, uh, fuck, <clears throat> uh, damn interview video. Uh, I can't even talk no more. My mind is, my mind is on Boondocks, bro. I just want to watch the Boondocks, bro. I wanted to make a new season so bad. Anyway, in the comments, let me know if you want more videos. I'm probably going to record, like, two more because I see two more. <laughs> what is it? The booty. Oh, he going to talk about the Boondock episode? Bet. Booty better than water. Oh, yeah. Wrote my family saying I like booty. Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm going to definitely have those. Let me know if you want to see them. Anyway, it's your boy Luna. I'm out.